Hi everyone, in this video we'll show how to use PowerShell to get the list of licensed users with specific products. Let's say you have 300 users in your Office 365 tenant and one day your manager asks you to get a list of users using Visio. You can get the information from the Office 365 admin center but it won't be easy. Instead you can use PowerShell. In Office 365 and Azure you see the product name such as Office 365 Business Premium. But in PowerShell, the product name is different and less friendly. For example, Office 365 Business Premium is called SPB. And because of that, I included a link to Microsoft documentation where you can go and see the list of product name and string ID that we're gonna use in our PowerShell command. As I mentioned, for example, if I go here and check Microsoft 365 Business Premium, it's called SPB, and that's what we're going to use in our PowerShell command. And if I go on the right side in this column, it shows what products are included with, uh, with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. This one is a friendly name, this column, and this column is the same column that you can use PowerShell command. So, so for this video, I'm gonna show a few examples, but I highly recommend go back to the page and find whatever products that you have in your tenant and use string ID to get the list of users that you want. First, run PowerShell as an admin and make sure you connect to Exchange Online Admin Center. In my tenant, I have two types of users or licenses. I have business premium and I have a business basics. But imagine in, a, in an environment that there are more users or more licensed users, probably you can have a variety of licenses. And if you want to filter them out, it will be easier with this PowerShell command. So I'm going to type a a PowerShell command and I'm going to use the string ID for business premium and let's see how the result is going to be. Command starts with this get dash and I'm going to use where object So here what I put match, I'm going to use SPB because SPB is for Microsoft 365 Business Premium. I'm going to sort my result. And as you can see here, I have one user and here's the user principal name display name and it says is license it's true so i have only one user in my tenant with this type of license now i'm going to look for another user who has business basics all i need to do instead of spb i'm going to change spb so i changed the name to all 365 underscore business underscore essentials and if you go here if you check here, it says Microsoft 365 Business Basics. I need to use this name. And, and if I press enter, I should be able to see who has Business Basics in my tenant. And same thing goes with any product. Let's say you want to see Project Plan 3, uh, who uses Microsoft FreeFlow or Exchange Essentials or Visio Online Plan 2. All of them are listed here in this page. All you need to do, is just go find that product and use this name here under string id and with this powershell command you can get the list of users if anyone knows a better command or they use something different than what i just showed that would be great if they can put it in a comment area i've been using this command part at work and i was able to get information that i needed anytime i use this command i hope you like this video let me know if you have any questions see you all next time